All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions about um, the black soldier fly larvae harvester or composter, whatever you want to call it. So I decided to make a quick video about it. I'm not an expert. I'm just regurgitating what I learned online and then uh, YouTube videos. So with that in mind, here we go. This is pretty much where I have decided to set it up at. Um, we have, I've seen black soldier larvae or black soldier flies down here. I don't see any right now. I've seen some over here. I actually saw some of the larvae over here as well. So I scooped some of this up and put it inside there already. So the setup is basically the female soldier fly will enter right here. Let's see if I can get down here. So she will go in through there and then go down through this area right here. And I will take the top off and then show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so let's start off with the top. This is the part where the female enters. So she comes in here and then she drops out of here. You're gonna need some kind of corrugated cardboard um, that has those little grooves in there because that's where she's gonna actually lay her eggs, all right? Once she lays her eggs in there and they hatch, they're gonna fall out of that down into there, okay? So I've already added some food scraps and whatnot in there. I'll just be adding more as we go along, but the small larvae will drop down into there. They'll eat all of this. Um, what will happen after that is they'll grow and grow and grow, and eventually, they will climb up these uh, PVC pipes here. All I did with the PVC pipes is basically I just cut out a groove so that they can enter and just climb up and then go into this section, which leads out here. And then they will fall into here and just drop straight down, okay? Uh, this isn't the bucket that I'm going to use, but I just put that there just for visual reference. I'm going to actually have something that's, you know, airtight right there so water doesn't get into it and that they don't climb back out of it. Uh, naturally, they won't climb out of this because the walls are too steep as long as you keep it fairly dry. It said that um, I think... 45 degree angle is about the highest angle that they can comfortably climb. These are about at a 30 degree angle. So those should be great for them to climb up there. Um, and uh, they could climb up straight straight up the sides if, it's, uh, if, it, if it gets wet. It'll give them enough friction to actually climb vertical so that's another reason why i'd like to keep that dry uh, like i said i'll be using something else so we'll figure that one out as i go and that is about oh so also i drilled holes in the bottom of here so there's a hole there there's a hole there there's holes all through the bottom of here and that will keep the hopefully the moisture content where it's supposed to be the moisture content is recommended to be at about 30%. I don't know how much moisture that is. So I'll just keep messing with it, play it by ear, and see how it goes. Um, definitely, I'll give you an update on how things go. And I'll make another video when I actually start getting some black soldier fly larvae out of there and feeding it to my chickens. So a lot of people ask, why? Why do you do this? So the main reason why I'm doing it is to 
supplement my chicken feed, okay? Um, I don't know what scale I'll end up eventually doing it at. I'm just starting it with this prototype. And then from there, I will expand. I have plenty of these totes laying around, so I will expand as needed. And I've, from looking at the numbers, it said that um, I can supplement 20% of my chicken feed from using black soldier fly larvae. The nutrients in it, um, they're gonna get a lot of protein, um, healthy fats, and their uh, uh, calcium. They're gonna get a lot of calcium out of it as well. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's one of those things that, hey, I got time. I got, I already have some black soldier flies hanging around here. I've already seen some flying around um, the harvester already. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna work. I'll be back with a uh, update on that as soon as I have one. Next video, waterers, okay? Uh, these things right here, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of those, all right? Yeah, I'm tired of those. If you got rabbits, then you know, okay? So next video, I'm gonna go over how I set these up. I was going to set these up today, but they were still leaking a little bit. So I put some more, um, uh, what do you call it? The daggone um, flex seal, flex seal, yeah. I, I put some more flex seal around them and I'm gonna let them dry for 24 hours and I'll come back out tomorrow and try it. If, if I do have flex seal on the inside of these, but I'm not worried about the inside because they're already dry. Um, so I'm only patching holes on the outside now, which takes 24 to 48 hours to cure still. But in 24 hours, it should prevent water from coming out. Okay. So I'm going to try, I'm going to fill them, the buckets up again tomorrow with water. And if they pass the leak test, I have another video for you, okay? All right, that's it for now from Salty Dog Homestead. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. Um, just a small homestead here, got some rabbits, got some chickens, my dog and cat, I'll show you them later. Um, but uh, I got a few gardens here, probably do a, probably do a garden tour uh, in the next couple videos as well. And um, it's just basically, hey, this is what I do on a daily basis. Um, I have full-time homestead, so I'll take you on the journey with me. We'll go through different projects that I'm doing. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not an expert. This is just how I do it, okay? Um, I'm learning. So if you have ideas, if you have things that I need to know, by all means, put it in the comments, okay? Um, I want this channel to be as interactive as possible. Um, your interaction, I'm not, I'm not worried about the whole YouTube revenue and all that stuff. Your interaction is more important to me than anything else. So um, anyway, that's the video. Stay tuned. Rabbit waters, next video, and then probably a garden tour, okay? All right, we'll see you in the next video from Salty Dog Homestead.